come back. Now you probably know about this nuclear waste dome in the Marshall Islands and the Pacific. There's an atoll called Enowetak, a big circular Pacific feature made up of little individual islands. One of these islands is called Runit. And on Runit, there's this dome. It was built to bury the nuclear test waste after the US had used the atoll for nuclear explosions in the 1950s and 60s. Doing a bit of research, I discovered this horrendous story. The concrete dome, which is 18 inches thick, is in the news right now because it's cracking. And also the atoll is under threat due to climate change and sea level rise. And in fact, in storm conditions, sea water will go right over this dome. And also the dome was never lined. It was built in a circular depression left by an earlier test on porous ground. And under the dome, it's full of seawater and the material inside leaches out into the ocean at every tide. The dome was built in the 1970s by a group of US Army engineers who shoveled the waste into this round crater and then put an 18 inch thick concrete top on the dome. These brave young men were never told what was involved and how dangerous the job was. And today on social media, they track all the whereabouts of everybody who was at the atoll building the dome. Sadly, almost none of them have lived past the age of 60, many dying of cancers. This is a dark and fascinating story from our nuclear heritage. But there was one part of it that didn't quite makes sense to me and I think today I can reveal something new, revealing and shocking about what's actually under the dome. If you do a Wikipedia search on nuclear explosions at Enowetak Atoll, there were 43 and you can go down the list and read the name of the project and its kiloton output. I did that and discovered there's only 42. One bomb didn't explode. Well, I think it did explode, just the conventional explosives round the plutonium core went off, shattering the core and throwing metallic plutonium around run it.
This now makes sense of an interview that I saw with one of the young soldiers who was there to clean it up. He said he was picking up lumps of this plutonium and putting them in plastic bags and they counted over 400 chunks of plutonium which they put in the dome. Today the dome is cracking and sea level rise is inundating the whole of the atoll. If that plutonium metal gets into the environment, it won't only contaminate the Marshall Islands, it will contaminate the whole of the Pacific Ocean. The poorer people of the Marshall Islands have not only been contaminated with nuclear waste, they're also going to lose their islands as they sink underwater. Sadly, the truth is out there. Thank <laughs> you.